This video will cover the topic, Power Reducing Identities. What is Power Reducing Identities? Power Reducing Identities are when an expression involving the second power of a trigonometric function is given, and we can reduce the power so that the trigonometric function is to the first power. The power reducing formulas are sine squared u is equal to 1 minus cosine 2u all over 2. Cosine squared u is equal to 1 plus cosine 2u all over 2. Tangent squared u is equal to 1 minus cosine 2u all over 1 plus cosine 2u. And lastly, cotangent squared u is equal to 1 plus cosine 2u all over 1 minus cosine 2u. So if we are given sine squared u, then we can simplify it to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2? Correct. Let's do an example. Use the power reducing formulas to rewrite sine squared x times cosine squared x in terms of the first power of cosine. Simplify your answer as much as possible. Rewrite sine squared x times cosine squared x using power reducing formulas for sine and cosine and simplify. Using the power reducing formula sine squared u and cosine squared u with u equals x, we get 1 minus cosine 2x all over 2 times 1 plus cosine 2x all over 2. Then we can simplify the expression. First we multiply the two fractions and we get 1 minus cosine 2x times 1 plus cosine 2x all over 4. Then we multiply the numerator. Lastly, we will separate the fraction. What should we do next? Use the power reducing formula for cosine. Cosine squared u equals 1 plus cosine 2u over 2, with u equals 2x. Good job. From there we get 1 fourth minus 1 fourth times the quantity of 1 plus cosine 2 times 2x all over 2. Then we simplify the equation. First we multiply the 2 times the 2x in the cosine function. Then we multiply the 1 fourth times the 2 in the denominator. Next, we separate the second fraction into two parts. Finally, we simplify again by subtracting 1 eighth from 1 fourth. Finally, we get 1 eighth minus 1 eighth times cosine 4x. Okay, first we identify an expression involving the second power of a trigonometric function that is given. Then we can reduce the power so that the trigonometric function is to the first power using power reducing identities. Finally, we can simplify the equation. Perfect. It looks like you're ready to solve more power-reducing identity problems.